What's up guys, T-Lux here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about two things. The first thing is what it's like to just be carefree in the US. And when I say carefree, I mean like not caring about whether you're, you know, you're black or you're Muslim or you're gay. I'm gonna treat you as just a human being. And the second thing is just having a brain and having a moral compass in the US. And I'll explain that one. That'll probably be the longest aspect of this video. But first off, let's get into, you know, having, um, you know, having a carefree mentality in the US. Now, when I say carefree, obviously, I don't mean, you know, not caring, like, I don't care. I'm not saying that I don't care about injustices or that I don't care about, you know, wrong things. I do care about that. I'm not totally carefree. But when I mean carefree, I mean, like, I don't care where you are. Like I said, I don't care what you came from. I don't care where you are. If you are a good person now and you treat me like a human being, I'm going to treat you like a human being. It's as simple as that. Now, it, this can go to anything. Like I said, there's so many aspects and, you know, spectrums to, to value and to to push on and to say like, oh, you're gay, you're this, you're this. And I personally just don't care. And there's a there's a point where you don't care and where you can still be homophobic. And I'm not homophobic. I'm not homophobic. I'm not racist. I'm not, you know, any of this. I, I, I don't I like I said, I don't care. I don't you know, I, I do embrace difference. And I do say like, yes, this is a different culture, a different background than mine. I can embrace, you know, where he's came from. And I've done that with many of my people that I know with many of my homies. I've done that. And, you know, things that I've seen, I embrace their culture, I embrace who they are. And I embrace, you know, um, the differences that they bring with themselves. And uh, like I said, I, I, I it's not that carefree. It's just that when I see a black man, I don't I, I recognize he's black. Yeah. Because you can see that he's black, but it, it doesn't it doesn't affect me in a way where, you know, you you treat someone differently. You can recognize race. That's the thing. People try to these all lives matter people. I won't get too political or anything, whatever, whatever you guys try to make this a spectrum. I don't know how human rights is a political thing, but political or socially, whatever you want to call it, you know, this all life matter movement, they, they, they say that they don't see color, but that's kind of counterproductive because we want you to see us. We want you to embrace our difference. We don't want you to just think of us as human beings. We are black. We are Hispanic. We are Latino. We are, you know, Asian. We are different and treat us this equally but we are different and embrace that we're different it's not separate but equal it's not none of this this bs we are equal and treat us like that and you can see us as black you can see us as asian that is fine with us we want to be seen as black we want difference we want our culture to stand out we want to be a unique part of our people you know we want to be unique we don't want to just be seen as a human being we do want to be seen as hispanic we do want to be seen as black so when you guys avoid that it's kind of just counterproductive and I, like I said, I won't get too political, but when I see a black person, I, I, I embrace their culture. I embrace who, who they, who they are, but I don't let it affect me how I'm going to, how I'm going to treat them. You know what I mean? It, 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 and I don't act on any thoughts. If even I've had times where I've been scared of, you know, a certain dude in a, and a wife beater and he just looks really sketchy and it's just it's just a typical build of like some some cholo or some you know some gangster you know and it's a typical build homie bought like some seven up right next to me and i i looked him i didn't even look at him i didn't even care because when it comes to you know when it comes to push and shove I, i'm not he's not gonna do anything to me he, like i'm just walking the street buddy he's not gonna do anything and if he does then oh well I, I, I got killed because I believed in humanity. Like, I, I'm not going to get mad at that if, I, if that's why I die. So, you know, it just, it's like, there's a difference in, you can be homophobic too. Like, you can be racist. You can be all of that. I'm not saying you could, you should, but we live in a free country and you can be this. But if you act on it and, you know, and you, you do treat people differently, there's a difference right there. There's, there's something I can't respect. I know people that are, you know, racist and homophobic. And I'm not saying I'm really, really, you know, um, proud of the fact that they are, but they don't let it shape that who they are. They don't let it shape it. And they don't act on it. And the fact that they don't act on it, you're just like, why are you even homophobic or racist? I don't know. I can't question that. I am not that person. But I'm just saying the fact that they don't even act on it and they don't they they're kind of basically carefree about it it's kind of just like you're kind of accepting them in a, your own way you're not accepting them obviously because by your beliefs you are thinking that they're wrong and that there there's something wrong with them but if you don't act on it 
I'm sure people think that there's something wrong with me when I be speaking. I'm sure there's people that, um, you know, racist that have seen me differently. I'm sure there's people that you think wrongly of autism, um, of autism and like, you know, uh, other mental illness patients and stuff like that and they don't act on it though like i can you know think something wrong about some autistic person but if i treat him like a human being when i'm with him i mean and i'm I'm not saying i am i'm just saying i'm bringing it up as an example if that's what i'm doing if that's what i believe but then i treat him equally i mean it's not justified at all it's not but i mean it's better than acting on it that's all i'm gonna that's all i can say is that it is better than acting on it now having a brain is a lot differently because now having a brain is kind of that spectrum where you are you know racist and really racist like racist is the big one because it's just like you 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 don't have a brain like i don't know how to explain that you don't have a brain because you probably wouldn't be able to understand that you don't have a brain it's been gone for so long that you don't even understand it and i don't want to get political i said like i said and i don't want to get all social but human rights it's just like with the moral compass you would think that your brain and your heart would tell you that this person should not be getting shot or that this person should not be getting mistreated and then when you see it you have the nerve to like point out that you're getting wrecked and that your your um injustice isn't being served and i understand that's frustrating i understand what it's like to you know be a minority or not even a minority just be if you wanted to even say white people who are just talking about their injustice i've 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 experienced um ha- not having a voice and not being able to speak out on the pl- on a platform and say like this is what's happening to me and sure black lives you know they do get this special treatment in a way where they get media attention they don't get they 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 get this media attention because they deserve it and that they their their injustice and you know the way that they're being mistreated is really what's giving them this media attention because they're really being treated wrong but i'm just saying yeah sure it is you know you know you do see these people getting media attention and you're just like what about me and you know there, it's another part of being carefree too because you have to understand with your brain sure what about me is fine to say i understand it it's 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 understandable to be selfish about your own people but there's a point too where it's like we're not talking about this right now we'll get to you be patient and it's just like something in their brain they don't they they can't they can't cohesively like put this together and structure it in their brain to say like hey i understand that i am being mistreated right now i understand that you know um it is not my time though i i I understand it is black lives matter's time right now and black lives matter and another thing that they don't understand is black lives matter isn't just for black lives it's for you know uh it's for trans lives it's for you know black hispanic lives and when you're just targeting a black hispanic you're gonna get hispanics to join you're gonna you know it's a fight for all really in my opinion black lives matter is all lives matter and in the best way you want to say it, I don't know how you're going to take that, but Black Lives Matter is all lives matter. It's as simple as that. And, you know, it's, 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 it's not like, oh, it is all lives matter. But I'm saying Black Lives Matter is the fight for all lives matter. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm trying to say. Because Black Lives Matter, they don't just fight for black lives. They've been standing up for multiple, you know, races and multiple religions and multiple, you know, ethnicities. They've just been standing up for our people. And I think, you know, when people don't have brains, they do not know how to articulate this. And it's kind of frustrating that you can't articulate it because it's just it's so simple to understand that your time will come just be patient like i don't understand what it's why you need to voice that you know what i mean there wasn't there's no reason why you would need to voice that at all i don't like like have a brain like it i, I can't explain it. it it makes me so frustrated and it makes me so confused it's just like have a brain i understand that mexican lives are being you know um you know they're they're getting you know unjustifiably you know is that even a word i don't even know they're getting wrecked yes you can even say asian lives like in that, that video at torrance you can say videos i mean you could look at videos of white people getting killed whatever but just know that it's not your time to push it so heavy on a black lives matter post or on a black lives uh you know um justice post like I get it. You're trying to voice it, but voice that on your own stuff. You don't have no one's saying you can't voice it. You, you, we can fight all these fights at the same time, but understand it is not your time to post it there. You know what I mean? 
And I understand that it's frustrating, but you guys just have to do it. Have a brain. It's not that hard to have a brain in a moral compass. It's very, very detrimental to the progression of our people and the progression, like, of the progression of your own people and the progression of black people when you do that. So please just have a brain. It's not that hard. And have a moral compass because you're kind of hurting everybody when you do that. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I broke the 10 minute mark. Well,